Hi guys, my name is Bhavya Bhatia and I'm from Mesda Bakuni batch of 2022 and I'm here to share my story with you today. So let me take you back to the year 2019. I had just started doing my very first job. I did that job for one and a half years and that is when it hit me that there was so much out there in the world and the world literally felt like a blank canvas. I just had to pick up the right paints to paint my world with. And that's when I decided that I wanted to go for an MBA that would give me a better insight into what marketing was, how businesses functioned and just train me, give me the right skills to be where I aspired to be. And that's when SW Kuni happened for me. Deciding which MBA school to go to is a very crucial question for every MBA aspirant out there. I think what I knew for a fact was that I wanted a college that could look at me and see something more than just the mark sheet that I carried. I wanted a college that would uh, be interested in knowing who Bhavya Bhatia was as a person. Ezra Bukuni just checked all my boxes. Starting right from the application process to straight to the interview, there were so many times when I was questioned about who I was as a person, what my aspirations were and I honestly loved that. I loved sharing my story because like I mentioned before, I wanted someone to look at me more than just that cat mark sheet. Um, so I was questioned multiple times about my hobbies, my interests and I love to share that I was a singer. I am a singer, I am a trained western vocalist and I also run a food blog on Instagram by the name This and That with Bhavya. And I could, you know, really weave all of those things as a part of my story and share it with the panel that was interviewing me. So one thing that I was very sure of when I started my MBA journey was the fact that I wanted to experience as much as I could. And I was told that the two years of MBA are what you decide to make of them. And that was exactly the case for me. Um, I knew about certain industries but I had obviously never worked in them. And Esda Bukoni gave me that right opportunity to do different internships, different life projects. So the internships that I did ranged from brand management to sales. I was a summer intern with Luxottica in the brand management team. And then I also did a life project with uh, a startup called iDefy where I worked in sales. So uh, through this entire journey, what I loved was that I continuously had to learn and unlearn to learn again and then finally apply everything that I had learned to land of where I am. And I got placed with Nika uh, in the brand management team and I couldn't have been more thankful to the college to you know, enable me to be where I am today. The faculty, they always kept us engaged even though we were operating in the virtual mode. There were different kind of interactions that uh, took place and the same synergy of you know, being in a classroom and discussing everything about the course and beyond the course with your professors who teach at Esda Bukoni Milan was exhilarating. And I think I absolutely, absolutely love that fact. And of course, we have different clubs, committees, and competitions that the college encourages us to be a part of and we've done all of that and we're pretty happy with how it turned out for us. So I think I really take pride in uh, confessing that we're a legacy and Esda Bukuni Asia Centre has been here for more than 10 years. With every consecutive batch, our batch size keeps growing and we have a very strong alumni network who of course we engage with and they're very helpful whenever you know you want to reach out to them, ask about their work journey and they can guide you as to how you can make the best out of your MBA time at SWPUNI Asia Centre. Our course structure is designed in a way that it gives you the right kind of exposure into different categories that you can enter into when you start your life as a working professional. So I still remember the very first um, subject that I had when I started my MBA journey was the strategy classes with uh, the Dean of our college, Professor David Parvale. And I was, you know, taken aback because I did not even know that these kind of things existed and what the right kind of um, methodology was to cope with something with a relevant business problem maybe. 
so i loved loved studying that subject and then again um later in my second year i chose my specialization to be marketing because i knew that my career trajectory would lead me um exactly where i wanted it to be i've been born and brought up in delhi and uh, both my parents retired from government jobs so until a few years ago you know i used to look at them and wonder that how could anyone have that kind of passion and dedication or towards their job i sort of craved for it to what uh, like to believe and now that i'm working with nika i realize that once you find your calling you know it in your heart that you know this is what you were meant to do and it sort of clicks and the kind of dedication passion and ambition you feel towards your job that just cannot be put into words you just know it in your heart so i think when i sit to wrap up my mba journey what i can say is that it was nothing short of a roller coaster ride starting in the online mode with a lot of apprehensions in our heart to finally graduating from this college being in person here today it has all been so exhilarating and i'm very thankful for the last two years thank you